spider's web and in this video we're going to be carrying on painting the hoplites um, all we have to do is highlighting now and uh, a few little touches here and there and they're done so without any further ado let's get on with it and this time all the cameras are uh, what's the one I'm looking for? all the cameras are recording <laughs> <laughs> All like yesterday, obviously. Um, so, let's get on with it. Now, let's move these out of the way. Because we're concentrating on one for the video. And then we're going to be getting this done, hopefully, a little bit quicker. So, uh, what do we need to do? Well, we've got this shield that we need to do a little work with the leather things around here um, the cape the spear the metallic um, bandy thing the little knee bandy thing highlight highlight the skin and then do the straps and the sandals easy peasy lemon squeezy so let's get on with it first off highlight the skin. What we need to do, a little bit of water on our brush, back into the um, and just Bugman's Glow, and a little bit of the Wreck Earth Flesh, there's not all that much to do actually for the skin. but let's do it anyway so we're going into the in fact we're not going to do that at all I'll go over that a little bit later um, we're just going to do the hands and then over these areas and then toes now we don't need to do every little toe just touch on some, uh, so just touch on a few, it just gives it the impression that they're all done. Um, in fact, let's there we are. We'll do that. I'm going to go over that in black. I think I'm not too happy about the um, flesh color inside the eyelids, though. So I'm going to go over that in black just so that it adds that shadow rather than seeing any detail there we are that's what I'm going to do for that yes so there we are, because we're not going to be looking at these in detail, so I'm just going to put a little bit of black into the eye sockets, rather than going into much detail. So we'll put that to one side, I'm going to um, finish off doing the base highlights, for the, or the first highlights on the skin with the other four, and then we'll come back to the first one and carry on. And finally, we're just going to do the um, eyes on this fella. Not what eyes there are, I'm going to be showing. And then that's it for that part of the stitch. So next, we are going to be running with... Um, what can we do now? That leather skirty thing he's wearing. 
and that was the mix of corn red and doom bull brown now we need a little bit more doom bull brown on the in fact in fact i'm not going to use doom bull brown i'm just going to use straight corn red And we're just going to do a few little touches here and there of red around the edges. Forward. So it's not going to take too long. I'll not bother up. That's all we're doing for that. Next, there's the little skirt thing that he's wearing. So we'll go back into the um, rack earth flesh. That's the colour we used. And the pigments are splitting in this. I just need to make sure that I've got a decent point on the brush and then we just touch over here and there where we want it so because the light is hitting. Again, not much of a job, there's just a few spots. So we're just gonna keep Keep on with it. Um, <coughs> and uh, we can then um, proceed on to more detailed things after this is done. Um, now then, um, one thing I do want to say is I'm sorry we haven't had much chance to get another Chatterbrew and a Big Black Dog done recently. Um, we were going to try and get these done every week again, but um, with one thing or another, either ill health or just things we need to do, we've not been able to get things done, so... Um, we are going to try and get that up and running again. Um, well, unfortunately, it won't be today. Um, I was hoping to get this done yesterday, but after the incident with the camera, it slowed me down a little bit. But never mind. Right, so that's the majority of the um, highlighting done. Um, What we're going to be looking at next is um, the cape. Now this is, as I say, the one that's going to take a long time to do. We're going over each fold, each crease to make sure that it's standing out. So, I'll pop these to one side, get our brush and go back into the Cantor Blue, was it? Uh, yes it was. The list is on the previous video. Um, any new video, any new paints that I bring out in this video, I'll add on to the beginning of the video to tell you what I'm using. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to recover everything that I've used because um, that would be pointless. I'll give you the list in the previous video, so um, what I'm going to show extra is ones I've used just for this video. And, and so I'm going to work it. So towards the beginning of each video I'll give you a list of the 
um, paint colours that I used in that video that I haven't used in previous videos if it's a follow on. Okay. So we're just looking at any raised area at all for this. Um, and because it's canto blue and it's gone over and I've gone over with the darkish dark bluey grey wash, the cape is actually now a lot darker than it was when it was just canto blue. In fact, it wasn't just Canto Blue anyway, was it? It was mixed in with black. So it was a darker colour anyway. So this Canto Blue is slightly paler than the blue we put on in the first place. And all we're doing is just trying to get a good indicator of where the light is hitting and to do that we just put lights of colours on it's a simple job but it's time consuming and we need a couple of passes at this in order for it to look right But hopefully you can see a little difference there. We're going to mix another colour in with this to make it a bit lighter for the next stage because we do need this to show up a lot more. Otherwise we're not going to see the raised areas as it should be seen. Um, yep, I'm just going to do a touch down that. And we will touch up up here as well. I don't want to be doing too much in these areas because it could get a little bit confusing. Not what you're looking at because there's so much stuff that's um, going on here but hopefully I've hit all the right areas and you can see a little better so I'm going to carry on with doing that for all of the minis and then we'll come back ok so there we are that's the um, <coughs> that's the cape done. Now what we're going to be looking at is the rest of the metal and the armor area and the straps. So for the straps, we're going to be using um, what can we use? What can we use? What can we use? Uh, I think we can use one that we've used a couple of times before. Um, not that one. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I can't find you. Ah. Nope. Nope. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Um, Ballard Brown. Oh, we've used before. So we'll use a little bit of that. We've got some on the palette. There's not all that much that we need to do with it, so I'm not going to put a lot out. And into that I'm going to put some of the mix that we used for the um, spear. Just to darken it up a touch. There we go. I 
and with this colour we're going to go over the sandals Not just the sandals, but the straps here. In fact, just to differentiate the straps, I'm going to move a little bit of that, a bit more of that over and put some black into it, and a little bit of corn red, just to change the colour completely. And that colour is going to be used for the strap on the ship. There we go. So that's what we're going to do now. So when we come back, all of the others will be finished. And there we go. So I think that is all that we have to do. For the, oh hang on, I haven't done the other strap on these, but never mind, I can talk while I'm doing it. It's not a big deal this one, it's not a big job. So we'll just give this a quick run over. Um, so I'm, not, I'm not doing... Um, much on this. Doesn't take a lot to do. Right, that's that done. Now, next, what we're going to do is the um, metallic areas on the leg armor, the wrist armor, and these buckle things on his belt. And for that, we're going to be using um, what? Stormhost Silver. Give it a good shake. That's the colour we're using. And we're just going straight from the bottle. We're not going to be messing about with it. Um, just a little bit of paint on the brush. Almost like a dry brush. And we're just going to go wall up, wall up. it does not much to do we're just highlighting a metal that we want to look a little bit shinier um, I wanted a fairly dull looking um, metal this one and for the um, band we will do that and for the spear tip we'll just do that we'll also stick with this for the shield as well in fact I'm picking that one up because I still want this one because I want to go over the 
that. Oh, a little bit around the top of the shield. Pick up some of the raised areas. There we are. And that's it. That's all we're doing for that. So, uh, join me in a moment. We'll finish it off. Okay, so next what we want to do is a little bit more on the oh, shield um, and for that we're going to be doing something similar than we did on the Amazon shield. We're going to get some of the storm host silver, pop it on the, well the storm host silver is the core we've just used. And then we're going to get some of the Cantor Blue and mix it in. There we are. So that is the colour we're going to be using. So we'll just get our brush. Give it a bit of a, a, wet, a wetting. <coughs> and then round the edges of this figure, or this face that's in the, onto the shield, we're just going to go around with this blue, silvery blue colour. Hopefully this will give it a very interesting look. It'll make the, the face stand out that little bit more. And with it being blue and silver. Or well, very bluey silver colour. Um, it will hopefully tie in with the blue and other parts. of the um, itchy nose. Oh yeah. How's that? <laughs> so I'll do that for the others and then we'll be right back. Okay, so there we have it. All the ones all the shields are done and now it's just time to finish off highlighting the skin so that's the skin colour that we used for the first highlight with a little bit more of the Cantor flesh mixed into it just to make it that touch paler and That's going to just be on the very high points of the skin. Um, I'll just touch on each toe. One, two, four, five. just on the um, here and that's it so I'll carry on doing that and then I'll be right back there we are so that's the skin highlighted um, next it's time for the <laughs> cloak to be highlighted one more step 
So for that we're going to be using the Cantor Blue once more, but we also need um, a little bit of the um, Lothurn Blue which we used in the first video. Um, that's the very pale blue we use for the crest. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that out because we will need some for the crest. I'm going to put some more, um, what do you call it, Cantor Blue into that. I'm trying to make it not too bright. brighter than it was. That hopefully will do the job. Okay so let's clean off that bigger brush and get a, oh God, get a small brush out again and get into this colour. Let's see how this one looks first of all before we start painting properly. That's not too bad at all. I'm going to do this on the most raised areas. Just like that. So it gives it a little more of a sun kissed look, as it were. I'm not, oh God, I'm not covering all of the previous highlights, I'm just touching paint to the some of the raised areas where I think the light is going to hit it a little more than other areas um, so I'm going to be doing a few areas a little broader than others but they will soon fade out into the darker colour that's what I'm looking for and I'm not going to do this on the other side of the cape just the back I want the other side of the cape to be quite dark. is the majority of what we're doing with this um, particular mini. Um, there are going to be another couple of steps that we need to run to. Not run to, what am I sort of talking about? We are we're going to have to do. One is highlighting the spear, which I'm going to do in a moment. But we'll do that just after I've finished doing the um, cape so uh, come back in a second there we are so that's the cloak done next job as I said is the spear but before I do that I want to just do a quick once over on the skin tones because I think I've caught some areas with the blue so I want to make sure that I've got those covered Also, it'll make the previous um, 
power out a little brighter. Um, ah, hell. <laughs> I've just noticed I've uh, caught the cape with the skin cell all the way around on that particular one. Oh well, never mind. Let us just touch up here and there where we need to. And then we can carry on and get the um, spear shaft highlighted. And then um, I think that will be it for this particular mini. Oh no, we need to do the crest as well, don't we? I have just a little bit more to do with this, not all that much. Um, but it won't take long to get it all done. On that one, fine and dandy. Just need to go back to the um, first one and just add a little bit of the Cantor blue with the black, a bit more Cantor blue, and just colour it over a bit there. That's it, that's all you have to do for that, right? Now as I was saying we need to highlight the spear and to do that we need the colour that we use for the spear with a paler colour into it which the paler colour I'm just going to use Wreck Earth Flesh because it's the a little bit more of the corn red there we are it's not a big job um, in fact, I'm just going to rinse out the brush. And on the top of the spear. We'll just do a line. That's it. So that's all we're doing with it. And we're not going right from the very end of the spear tip. We're going to leave a little bit there and at his hand dark. And after we've done this, it's just a case of a quick dry brush on the um, crest on his helmet and that's it. So for the dry brush I'm going to use a slightly bigger brush than that one. Preferably the one that is dried. <laughs> and uh, just it's on the pot, on the brush, wipe it off and along the top and along the side just give it a little bit of a dry brush just to make it a little bit brighter and in fact, we'll touch up the helmet as well. We use the um, 
what you call it, I can't remember what color it was now. Um, bronze. We just need to just touch up a little bit on the top, not on that much. Because we've just gone over it with the with this brush unfortunately. Well yeah. Uh hash up copper, that was it. That's the only use for the thing. So we'll use just a little bit more on the brush. We'll see, a little bit more on the brush. Use that little bit on the um oh helmet I'm trying to say just to get rid of the blue on the helmet looks like so and we do that for each one Oh yeah, that will do. So, wash the brush out, and let's have a look at the final, final miniature. Um, I'm sorry. All that needs to happen with these now is for the basing to be done. Let's give it a coating of varnish, and. won't be finished. Um, what I will do, which I've just remembered about, um, we're not quite finished yet with this mini. We're going into the auric and the gold and a few spots here and there uh, on this piece of armour. to pick out the metal areas. I'm not doing this gold all over that the tip of this, I'm just doing it on the front where it can be seen and over the studs that is in the leather and I'll do that for each one. And film combat. A finished him uh, finished mini. Or in this case a finished group of minis. The things you seem to forget when you're trying to do videos and paint at the same time you forget certain bits that you said you're going to do but I don't want to not do them um, on camera because I'd like to see I'd like you to see what I am doing and how I get the results. I mean with this it's just a very simple case of just a small amount on the brush and just dab. That's all we're doing. Oops. And Final one. Oops. Weep and There we go, that is 
it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it next time I'm going to be doing something very similar but different um, but that's what we have for these ones so as I say I hope you've enjoyed the videos until next time as always take care God bless and bye for now